I'm debating consulting the spirits for guidance. Given recent events, my mind has turned to the past. Namely, my junior high sweetheart, Heather. Huh? I stalked her on social. She's a librarian, which is not that far. I can't help but thinking maybe our story isn't finished. But if you ask me... Oh, sphere of knowledge. Should I call Heather? Fine. In that case, maybe an email. That's good, right? No pressure. Tis only fitting since you were the one who dug it up from my minds. No rush. But Archie, you do realize you are playing with forces far beyond your understanding or the natural world. Powers come from or why Palladium specifically weakens you and not the others. Facing immunity is worth the risk this or poses you. True, but unlike you, I do have experience in the supernatural. I can divine a pathway through this for you without it costing you your life. Nana, have you seen my book on Rasputin? Why, yes, I was uh, reading it the other night. Okay, well, can I have it back? I'm doing some research and it may contain some esoteric information to help poor Archie. Or is it merely or email yet? No. In your experience, people also communicated by pigeon. Now get my Russian tome, you Baba Yaga. Sorry I'm late, boys. Had to make myself presentable for such VIPs. <laughs> Feeling rather germophobic, but since you all insisted on meeting in person, well, here I am. Good. Nice, Reggie. Together, a new company valuation, so you can see exactly what you'd be walking away from. Well, this is gonna happen. You're an amateur trafficking the arcane arts. Uh, I have to. Build up an immunity to it, yes, and you will the right way. With some of my yummy palladium soup. The raw ore is too intense for you. You have to titrate your exposure, Archie. Like the Russian mystic Rasputin did. He ingested small amounts of diluted poison over time to build up a resistance to it. And it worked for this Russian guy? Absolutely. He became almost impossible to kill. They had to drown him in the end. Remember in high school when I sponsored that kissing booth? Now I'm cursed with the kiss of death. Thank you for risking cocktail hour with the spider woman. Still. Sounds like we're all having a time of it. Yeah, I mean. And I suppose we have Pickens the Perverse to thank for our respective afflictions. Matters much. The bottom line is, I'm screwed. I mean, I'm literally toxic. If I touch someone or spit on them or cry on them, they die. And to add insult to injury, I'm facing a hostile takeover at work while dealing with this acute health crisis. My last non-lethal kiss before Geraldo's death was with backstabbing Reggie Mantle. And now it's going to be my last meaningful human contact. How sad and awful is that? Have another round. On me. Ronnie, I Actually, now that you mention it, I don't feel the alcohol at all. Thank God you exist, Cheryl. You're the only person I know who grows poisonous plants in their greenhouse. As requested, I prepared an assortment for you. Hemlock, nightshade, snake root, rosary peas, and white oleander. These are perfect. I want to test a hunch that the toxins my body's producing are making me immune to other poisons. Just remember there's no shame in having your stomach pumped. I will have a private ambulance on standby. Also, you wouldn't happen to have any books about spiders, would you? But of course, how many would you like? 